In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play your best pickleball in 2024. We're going to specifically talk about exactly what you need to do to improve your game and level up this year. And I'm going to give you three practical and also actionable steps that you can take before you hop on the court. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a once in a lifetime training opportunity for you that you're not gonna wanna miss out. Also, throughout this video, I'm going to give you a special inside look of the Briones Pickleball headquarters. So now, come on in. If you're watching and you don't know who I am, Welcome, my name is Jordan Brionis, founder of Brionis Pickleball, and I've spent the past decade dedicating myself coaching players just like yourselves on the court and through content online. This is my backyard here in Arizona. It's actually the day after Christmas. That's a pickleball court that my wife and I built, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. I wanna show you the studio first so that we can talk about the best way that you can improve your game in 2024. All right, let's jump right into what you've been waiting for. This is exactly how you are going to improve your game in 2024. All right, so when it comes to a player's improvement, there are four pillars that I think about that are really, really important as each player is working through their progression of becoming the best player that they can be. The first pillar we're gonna start with is your fitness. And in fitness, I include your movement and your footwork and also your positioning because you're going to need to move to get to the ball and be in the right position at the right times. High level players, obviously their fitness is great, but the way they move to the ball, also how they move their feet to get to the ball, to be in the right position all the time is super crucial. And that's something that they do really, really well. So that's pillar number one. The second pillar that you wanna look at when it comes to assessing your game is your fundamentals. These are the shots that you're going to need to hit time and time again. So dinks, volleys, drops, your technique, and the actual skills that you're going to need in a game so that you can hit them and hit them consistently. All the high level players in this game have really good fundamentals because that is the foundation of their game and you have to be really solid with those things. Pillar number three is shot selection and strategy certain tactics and patterns. Shot selection is exactly what it sounds like. It's selecting the right shot at the right time. High level players are good at selecting the right shots because they've done it over and over again. When it comes to strategy, these are things that you can implement depending on your strengths and weaknesses of your opponents and also your strengths and weaknesses of you and your partner. Sometimes your strategies might have to change depending on what your opponent is giving you and depending on the shots that you know that you can hit, your strategy might change game after game or in the middle of the game. And that leads us right into patterns. At higher levels, patterns are really important because these are ways that we can actually construct the point to our advantage so that we can be on the offense. Last but not least, pillar number four, and that is your mindset or the mental game. Even though you may have a good handle on your movement and your footwork, and you have good fundamentals, you have the skills to hit the right shots, and your shot selection and strategy is really good, your mindset and mental game could really make or break your game on the court. So when we look at the pro game, all the pros have very similar skill sets, but what propels the best players in the game, like the likes of a Ben Johns or Anna Lee Waters, is really their mindset. Hey, hey. So now that we've gone through the four pillars of the game, these are the things that you're going to have to focus on to level up your game in 2024. One little self-assessment exercise that you can do that can be very helpful is to grade yourself on a scale of one to 10 on each of these four pillars. What do you think your fitness is, your footwork, your fundamentals, your shots, your skills, your shot selection, strategy, and then lastly, rate yourself one to 10 on your mindset going and doing an assessment on all these four pillars is really going to help your game. Now that we just talked about the four pillars, we're gonna come over here and I told you in the beginning of this video that I'm going to give you three actionable steps that you can take to propel yourself to the next level before you hop on the court. So we're gonna hop into number one and that is be honest with yourself. Are you setting aside the adequate time that you need to drill and practice on your game? If you're one of those players who just loves to play all the time, which is great, but you actually wanna see improvement in your game 
and you're actually not setting aside those hours to practice, it's going to be really tough for you to get to that next level. Actionable step number two is film yourself. For those of you who have never hopped on the court and set up your iPhone or a GoPro or anything and watch your game back, you may find it really eye-opening. One of the things that I have players do before they train with me is send in some video of themselves. And a lot of the times, those players, when they look at their game, they notice five, 10, 15 things that they thought they were doing or certain things that they're doing that they didn't know they were doing because they actually saw themselves on video. So getting out on the court and filming yourself is a really good actionable step so that you can see some of the holes that you actually have in your game. All right, and finally, actionable step number three. If you have the means for it, and you are really serious about your game, get a coach. Now with this game exploding, there's a lot of resources out there and there may be a lot of coaches, but finding a good coach could be tough. When seeking out a coach, there are two things that I would really think about when you are trying to find one. Number one, I would really be interested in how long they have actually played the game. Now this is not a knock on all the new coaches out there, but experience does go a long way. The second thing that is actually really simple but really important, I would ask the coach how they are learning. One of the things that I pride myself in is a reason why I think that I've been successful in coaching throughout the years is really challenging myself in my own teaching and allowing and giving myself space to learn and grow as a coach. All right, so now that we've talked about how to play your very best game in 2024, I have a very exciting opportunity for all of you. So like I mentioned on the channel before, I teach these two day intensives, but for the first time ever, we are going to be offering our five day week long super intensives. What I am doing this year is I'm gathering 12 players total at your skill level, which you could come and train for one full week. And in this intensive, we're gonna be training five hours a day, and we're gonna be going over all four pillars so that you can be a complete player to make sure that you level up right away. If you're interested in a super intensive training like this, again, this may not be for everyone, I understand, but if you are interested, make sure you go in the description and submit an application below because we only have 12 spots and I would love to see you there. Again, for this training, it's going to be a very small student to coach ratio. It's just gonna be myself and one other coach, and we're going to be able to spend a whole week with you, diving deep into your game, making the necessary adjustments, and working on all the things to make you a better player. With all that being said, let's continue the tour of the Brionis Pickleball headquarters. All right, so now for everyone who stayed to the end of this video, uh, you get an exclusive tour of the Brionis Pickleball uh, headquarters here in Arizona and uh, yeah if you're you've stayed to the end here I really appreciate you I couldn't do this without you obviously our business runs from people like you watching our videos sharing our videos so um, yeah from the bottom of our hearts Katrina my wife and I and our kids and our family we just want to say thank you and we appreciate you and happy new year Merry Christmas and we hope you have the best year ever all right, so we're gonna hop. Uh, this is gonna be raw now, one take here. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, obviously you just saw this board. Um, I may start to do some strategy stuff in the future. Uh, this is why I got this, this is a dry erase board. And it's just a, a really cool little thing. Um, kind of our court colors outside on the court, we'll, we'll show you that in a sec. Um, but this studio, this actual, um, it's really a shed, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the, the studio in a bit, um, or the podcast rather in a bit, but this was a old beat up shed. So we actually got really lucky with this house because this was, uh, yeah, it was pretty beat up in here and we renovated it. So it's really, really great now. Um, this is our desks. This is where my wife and I work um, and do editing, make thumbnails and things like that. Katrina and I, our team, and we work side by side. She does a lot of the admin stuff. Obviously, there's a lot to go into it. Um, the paddle wall, this is kind of new. Um, this is something that we've done in the past few months. Um, I don't think we've ever showed it in any videos yet, but uh, 
Shout out to uh, Selkirk, our official sponsor. You'll see a plethora of paddles um, up here, but obviously as we review paddles with uh, Jordan Yeager and he's on our team, uh, we have a lot of paddles here. Paddle that I am currently using, all right, the Lux um, Epic version. Uh, I like the blue. Um, and you know what, this hex grip, I heard about it. It's a, it's a new thing and I'm, I'm liking it. So anyways, that's that. So uh, yeah, we got uh, the paddle wall here and this is the studio. Now everyone who comes here, whether they do a podcast or they kind of just come and check it out, they say uh, how big, how much bigger it looks in real life. So it's a very, very small space. It's actually less than 10 feet um, wide. Um, but yeah, my friend Jordan, actually uh, another Jordan actually helps set this up and I'm going to leave his, um, his website in the description below because what he does is he builds podcasts um, for, for people like me. So if you're interested in that, uh, give him a little email. Uh, these are the mics, obviously switcher board, um, things like that. Uh, we got TV um, and this. I got these on Amazon, so I kind of built this myself. It's not, not super fancy. Let's see, what else should we show? Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, obviously we got the cameras currently um, shooting uh, Sony ZV-1s and uh, I kind of figured out a system to where it's internally into the outlet so that I don't have to worry about batteries failing and things like that. But uh, for those of you watching, this has been accumulation over the years and it didn't start this way. I actually started creating content online more than six years ago. So uh, yeah, this is like kind of a dream come true to try to do all this um, and kind of make it a full-time thing. So that's the studio. Um, and uh, let's see if there's anything else to show you. I don't think so. But uh, if you are ever in town, maybe you can come and kind of check everything out. So this is the backyard we, uh, we walk through over here. Um, that's a side gate. We walk through here, you'll see some uh, lemon trees here. Kids can make some lemonade. Uh, if you don't know, Katrina and I have three kids. This is just a nice little area here um, where people get to hang out. And uh, you can see I have the, uh, it's not the cleanest, everyone here, but uh, I have the balls, I got everything, the tubes. I may, may leave a link in the description below of all this stuff. Shout out to Simon X, uh, military grade um, ball machine one of the best ball machines that you can buy um, very reliable um, and yeah you can see the tennis balls here actually my first love um, a lot of you tennis players coming into the game um, I actually played a lot of tennis before pickleball so uh, yeah there's that got the barbecue grill all right so we're gonna show you now uh, the Briones pickleball court we shoot a ton of content on here you will see uh, Coming in 2024, we have a lot of exciting content coming out, but got the little sign here, soccer banner here. Um, when I actually, uh, when we moved here uh, from California to Arizona two years ago, one of the things that we really decided is if I'm gonna take this full time, we needed a court. Um, so, you know, finding the space to do it, Obviously, you can see the court kind of takes up the entire backyard almost. But um, one of the things that we needed is a space. So when we were looking for homes and looking for houses, I automatically went to the backyard and to see. And this just really couldn't have worked out better. This was actually all grass. So this is a uh, concrete uh, post tension. And um, I believe it's about seven to eight inches thick, maybe six, six to eight. So uh, shout out to C&D Pickleball Nets. Uh, we'll also leave a description, uh, a link in the description below for C&D. Um, this net here um, really is probably the most sturdy net that I've ever played on, or one of the most. It's professional grade. Um, it weighs, I believe it weighs about 120 pounds, something like that, so it's very sturdy. Um, here we go. Um, Color-wise, color scheme, I just wanna talk about um, why I picked these colors. It's really funny um, because one of the hardest things that I had to do um, was picking colors. <laughs> so, so like I wasn't sure if I was gonna go with like green scheme or something like that, but it's uh, a, 
And, and what's crazy is, so I went with um, the darker blue on the outside, light blue on the inside. And this is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this is not really a red, it's more like a, a maroon kind of color. And I did this specifically so that it wasn't super bright in the kitchen and um, or in the non-volley zone. But uh, yeah, as soon as I made this cord, I was super happy about it. And then I started to see all these blue cords hop all over. So like I built this two years ago and uh, yeah, so I guess it became a thing. So anyways, uh, the rest of the backyard there, there's nothing really there yet. Um, we got the signs. Um, I'm trying to think about my thought process here, why I left um, a little bit of room here. You can see some rock. This is about 18 inches. Uh, I think I just wanted to, um, I think probably for seating area and stuff like this. This is the famous drill wall. So uh, if you don't have a court to uh, pr play or practice on, have, remember just drilling against a wall. I'll try to leave a link in the description below for wall drills, but I, I, I actually use this a lot when I'm warming up, practicing fast hands. And just like in our videos, you can see um, there's a lot of things that you can do on the wall. Um, so we're gonna go this way. These are the little benches. Um, so obviously with the court here, um, I, you know, I don't do lessons here anymore, but, um, I, what I, what I do is I invite a lot of people over and a lot of friends, a lot of family. So this court gets utilized by a lot of different people and, uh, yeah, just some seating area, seating space. Um, and yeah, really, um, it is as we speak, as we film this, it is December 26th. So again, I hope you have the best um, possible year uh, in life in general and also in pickleball. Hopefully you can really take those uh, three actionable steps that I talked about and the four pillars and really look at it. No matter if you train with me uh, someday or not, I really wish you the best year of 2024 and we are going to be continuing to create content for you to help your game. Um, lastly, if you haven't opted in and signed up for a newsletter, what I do every week is I, I email you out tips and certain things um, that I'm thinking, how the game is changing. So if you're interested in following us and what we do, different offerings we're going to have in the future, make sure you go in the description below and sign up for a newsletter as well. Um, I really appreciate all of you. And this was just the mini tour of our headquarters here and I'll see you in the next video.